Hello and welcome to this unboxing of Rommel's Africa Core. Made by Flames of War. This is the fourth edition, specifically for the mid war, for the German side. So on the top here, you get to see two pair of 88s. You get to see some Mark IV tanks and some Mark III tanks. On the back, it shows you the visual, visually show you the contents of the box where you get a mini rule book. You get three Mark IVs, five Mark III's, a number of unit cards, and a pair of 88s. So let's take a look and see what's on the inside. So we're going to pull everything out all at once here. The box is quite packed as you can see with that. So you do get a copy of the mini rule book for the mid-war. You also get the instructions on how to put together the tanks and the anti-tank guns. As you can see, I see that the rulebook has some damage in there. I wish Battlefront had invested in a plastic bag to keep this uh, protected. That would be a nice thing. Now we look at the sprues. So as we sort them out, okay, we have Five of the Panzer threes. We have three Panzer fours, and a couple of pieces have come off. Not a big deal. All right, so let's take a look at our pieces here. So here we have the top and bottom view of the 88 millimeter gun. Pretty devastating in World War II. The Allies were very right in uh, fearing these because they could pretty much punch through any Allied armor that was out there. Panzer IVs, the British refer to them as Mark IVs. So you get to see the sprue, the top and the bottom sprue. Uh, what's kind of nice with these is that you have the variants where you can have the different muzzle brakes on the 75 millimeter gun but you also have the option of the short barreled 75 millimeter gun as well. This is good. This is this gives you freedom. You have some bits there, track, uh, jerry cans for stowage, a couple of extra bogey wheels. Uh, in terms of hatches, you have the choice of either having the hatch open or shut. That is depending upon your preference, okay? So we'll put that off to the side. And then here we have five of these Mark III sprues. And I'll just put them opposite like here so you guys can take a, a bit of a look at them. And again, um, I am familiar with these sprues because I did review uh, the El Alamein starter box set. So the sprues are the same. They're very easy to work with. Uh, in terms of fitting the tracks to the hole, it's practically impossible to mess that up uh, because on one side of the hole, you may see three indentations, the other side of the hole, two indentations, which match cor with the corresponding tracks. This is a nice move. That's a great idea that uh, BF has had. Now, again, with the Panzer III, you do have choices as far as what kind of gun do you want? Do you want the regular 50 milliliter? Do you want the 50 long? Or do you want the 75 millimeter short? You do have those options. You have the option of have creating the up armored Panzer III with the long 50 millimeter gun. Or again, you can make the Panzer III with the short barreled 75, but you don't get as an up armored version. Still though, you again, for the hatches, they can be 
open or shut depending on what your preferences are. Okay, so we have German crew for the 88s here, uh, including decals as well. Getting them out here. So take a little closer look at these guys. And I will flip them on the back so you guys can see. Mm, they're pretty detailed. It's like the other uh, kit that I reviewed, Monty's Desert Rats. Again, these are plastic, whereas it wasn't that long ago these guys were made of metal, unless these are all new uh, sculpts that they did for the plastic. Uh, you know, leave those comments in the below. As far as, you know, that information, I would be curious to know if these were based off of the metal figures uh, compared to the, they were just all new for the plastic. On here, we have a Panzer Commander sprue that gives us the choice of Panzer Commanders. So it doesn't matter which one you uh, pick. Typically, it's great to signify who is the commander of a uh, platoon or maybe the formation commander that's very useful to have. Now we do have a pair of bases. These are definitely for the 88s. They do have the holes in there so you can plug the German crew in there but not all the holes will be used so they also included some uh, well Figure hole covers, maybe that's the best way to call that. But uh, they include that as well. So this is a good thing uh, for that. In terms of decals, you also get a pair of decal sheets. So you can see those a little bit closer. It essentially is the same sheet, German cross, you get the numbers on there. Uh, they do have it, they don't mention which particular division, uh, except that these are all the Africa Corps uh, insignia. So that pretty much takes care of it. It doesn't tell you, you know, which Panzer division that it belongs to. Last but not least, the unit cards originating in Team Yankee which uh, Battlefront had released some point in the past. It seemed to be successful. You get the same thing. You get the movement orders card, uh, like you do in the El Alamein starter set, which tells you, gives you a quick reminder as far as what options do you have uh, for your vehicles. It gives you the Africa Corps, uh, what formations that you have available to you. It also shows the support units on the other side. It also shows you the support units you have available to you. Now, what's kind of nice is at that point, you would not uh, necessarily have to have the Africa Core source book for this, okay? However, it does not give you the point values. Uh, for those. For that, you have to have the Africa Corps source book, or if you are with the uh, Desert Rats, the Desert Rats source book. Okay, here are two Panzer III Tank Company HQs. One is up armored, one is regular, so you do have choices. And again, on the back, they talk about what you can have in each formation as well so that's pretty useful and you can get away with that so you can have your command hq as be the only up armored pz3 and then everybody else is a variation of it uh, i probably would go along those lines myself you get a panzer 3 unit card and a panzer 3 armored card again it gives you the basic information that you need and if you were to flip on the back you would end up seeing uh, the relevant information point values things like that you also get a panzer three oh, wow they're sticking you have a panzer three mixed tank platoon 
uh, which gives you some choices. When they say mixed, they mean you start out with the short five centimeter gun or 50 millimeter gun, then you can upgrade. You can replace any of them, you know, with a long five centimeter gun for a couple of points each. Okay. They give you the point breakdown on the back. They also give you armor options. If you wanted to go and upgrade the armor, uh, it all depends what you're interested in. What are you up for? You have the Panzer IV card as well. Gives you the same basic information. So on the back, it gives you point values as well as any special rules uh, that need to be there that are particular for that unit. Uh, the last one here is the 8.8 .8 heavy uh, AA platoon card. And again, while it was used as anti-aircraft, it made a great tank buster. Uh, definitely when you're talking about a range of, wow, 40 inches on the table, pretty devastating. Anti-tank value of 14, yeah, that's pretty much going to punch a hole through anything the Allies have at this point in the desert. But anyways, that being said, uh, this just gives you an idea about point values uh, that you have. So, all in all, uh, I think this is a great starter force for those people who are looking at starting up a German Africa Corps force. This is a good way to go. Uh, you get a pair of 88s, you get eight tanks uh, in the process, and then you can mix or cho you can choose or mix or combine uh, what variations of the tanks that you have. And, well, that gives you a lot of freedom. So for that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this uh, review has been a help for you. You guys have had a chance to uh, peek at it. Again, I, I wish Battlefront would have put in uh, you know, a plastic bag, again, to protect the rule book from being torn up like this. I mean, this also, you know, that's a bummer. But, I mean, the book's, you know, it's small and whatnot, and maybe they were counting on that people would buy the hardbacked version of it. Okay. Well, hey, I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, again, click, subscribe, leave comments. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. Okay. And if somebody else has other answers in there, feel free to jump in on the discussion. All right. God bless and take care.